Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, in the first video, I explained you and uh, I showed that how to assemble this uh, drone or quadcopter and how to join this frame plates, the motors, the speed DC brushless motor and the electronic speed controllers. So now we have programmed the electronic speed controllers uh, with the microcontroller. And one thing that we have replaced the uh, electronic speed controllers, the previous ESCs were uh, not programmable. Now we have bought the ESCs from the DYS and they are programmable. They come with the Simon K firmware, firmware and we can set the throttle range of these electronic speed controllers. So moving on, uh, this is our transmitter to control the uh, operations of the drone and uh, it's a, it is from the Fly Sky, Fly Sky FSI6. Okay. So there are four channels, uh, one is throttle and it is throttle and it is rudder, it is elevator and it is aileron. So throttle basically means uh, it adjusts the height of the drone or quadcopter. When you increase the throttle, uh, the quadcopter will fly and uh, elevator for controlling the uh, backward and forward movement of the drone and rudder from for the left and right movement and uh, and this is the uh, receiver of the this transmitter uh, again fly sky so here we get the uh, pwm signals from this receiver for all the four channels and uh, so the microcontroller cannot uh, directly read the pwm signal easily uh, it has a input capture pin facility for reading the pwm signals and uh, and uh, i have used the uh, atmega 128 uh, microcontroller from the atmel avr family and uh, so for uh, reading the pwm signal uh, i have made a circuit to convert the pwm into a dc voltage so this circuit basically uh, converts the uh, duty cycle of the pwm signal into the dc voltage so it's a very uh, simple circuit. Uh, firstly, it is a uh, it's a low pass filter, uh, one resistor and capacitor, and then a diode, and then again two capacitors and a resistor. So it converts uh, the duty cycle to a DC voltage. So I have to make these four circuits for all the four channels. Currently, I had I have made only one for the throttle, and I will show you that how to set the throttle range of the motors. And uh, this uh, this DC signal is now read by the microcontroller, and uh, microcontroller with its internal analog to digital converter will read this signal and give a uh, provide a digital value and processes it and uh, provide the uh, output to the these electronic speed controllers and these electronic speed controllers again will receive the PWM signals so I have used the uh, timer counters of the AVR uh, timer 0 and timer 2 in uh, timer 0 and timer 2 in a phase correct mode and these two timers will generate the PWM signal for these electronic speed controllers um, by sensing the input signal okay so uh, so uh, firstly i tell you uh, when uh, whenever you are going to use these rf transmitter and receiver for the first time you have to uh, bind them and there is a bind button bind push button in the uh, transmitter so firstly when you uh, power up the receiver and turn on the transmitter you have to press the bind button and then it will generate some tone and it will show here that uh, now it is binded okay so uh, there is a LCD display on this uh, transmitter which shows the uh, transmission power and when I will power on the receiver it will also show the uh, signal strength of receiver so uh, you can uh, also uh, change some settings some programs uh, by long pressing the OK button this is system setup this is up and down button you can select uh, models 
rx setup uh, trainers lot of things are there like in the system oh sorry function setup there are display aux channels throttle curve throttle hold okay so uh, now i will uh, set the throttle range so for setting the throttle range uh, firstly uh, you have to uh, start this transmitter uh, you can uh, you cannot start this transmitter by setting the throttle range to full it will display a error signal a warning signal so before starting this uh, transmitter make the throttle low and then start it and after uh, for first time for setting the throttle range of the electronic speed controllers uh, make the throttle at the full position so at the full position uh, the microcontroller will receive a signal from this pwm to dc conversion and according to that signal it will uh, generate a pwm signal of a 2 millisecond 2 millisecond with on time so uh, it is the uh, upest uh, sorry it is the upper range of the uh, pwm uh, it is upper range of the throttle and after 2 or 3 seconds make the throttle to a low position and then microcontroller will generate a signal of around 1 millisecond to for for these electronic speed controllers so it is the uh, lower range of the throttle so whenever uh, after uh, setting the throttle range now whenever i will start this transmitter and receiver and i will start increase the yes, i will start increasing the throttle the motors will uh, start running okay so uh, make the throttle to a full position switch on the receiver you will receive uh, here a tone now make the throttle to a low position um, the tone you heard uh, is that uh, now the like, throttle range for the electronic speed controllers is set not just turn off the electronic speed controllers and all circuitry and start it again now we will uh, start increasing the throttle and the motors will run so now here it's at full throttle and the motors are running at full throttle so basically uh, i have connected uh, currently this pole circuitry to this uh, adapter it is a 12 volt 3 ampere adapter but after that uh, we will use a battery whenever drone will start flying so it is at full throttle now i am decreasing it to half throttle see now they are running at half throttle and off full Ah. And low. Okay. So as I explained in my uh, last video, for uh, uh, the drone to fly, we have to configure it in uh, either plus direction or a x direction. Now I am using it in x direction. So it is a x structure. So for the x. X structure. Uh, these two DC busless motors will uh, run in clockwise direction, and these two DC busless motors will run in anti-clockwise direction. So for testing it, uh, now see uh, these two motors will run in the clockwise direction. and these two are in anti clockwise
so whenever you are testing these motors gear uh, direction clockwise or anti clockwise uh, i suggest you that you don't uh, use the propellers at that time because these motors uh, uh, run at a very high speed so uh, it can be dangerous so uh, when you uh, set the direction of the motor uh, you have to change the you have to change these pins the uh, connection between the electronic speed controller and the motor you have to uh, change these pins so it will uh, change its direction either clockwise or anti clockwise so and the uh, these are the three pin cable coming from the electronic speed controller uh, here is a white wire red wire and a black wire black is for the ground and uh, red is for the plus 5 volt uh, plus 5 volt means uh, we are not giving plus 5 volt to the electronic speed controller it is coming from the electronic speed controller so this plus 5 volt is powering by the microcontroller and white wire is the pwm wire uh, which is receiving the pwm signal from our microcontroller so these three wires uh, come from every electronic speed controller so next uh, we will wrap up this whole circuit in a small pcb which will uh, we mount there and uh, also we will use the uh, gps modules and gsm modules and camera and uh, and, a and of course the battery so finally in the next video we will show you the drone flying thanks